choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. Joshua chapter 24 verse 15 A person's will is embodied in the actions of the whole person. I cannot give up my will. I must exercise it, putting it into action. I must will to obey, and I must will to receive God's Spirit. When God gives me a vision of truth, there is never a question of what He will do but only of what I will do. The Lord has been placing in front of each of us some big proposals and plans. The best thing to do is to remember what you did before when you were touched by God. Recall the moment when you were saved or first recognized Jesus or realized some truth. It was easy then to yield your allegiance to God. Immediately recall those moments each time the Spirit of God brings some new proposal before you. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. Your choice must be a deliberate determination. It is not something into which you will automatically drift. And everything else in your life will be held in temporarily suspension until you make a decision. The proposal is between you and God. Do not confer with flesh and blood about it. Galatians chapter 1 verse 16 with every new proposal, the people around us seem to become more and more isolated. And that is where the tension develops. God allows the opinion of his other saints to matter to you. And yet, you become less and less certain that others really understand the step you are taking. You have no business trying to find out where God is leading. The only thing God will explain to you is Himself. Openly declare to Him I will be faithful. But remember that as soon as you choose to be faithful to Jesus Christ, you are witnesses against yourselves. Joshua chapter 24 verse 22 Do not consult with other Christians, but Simply and freely declare before Him, I will serve you. Will to be faithful and give other people credit for being faithful too.